Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is our next stop. It's still here, right um, in the reserve. And this is the lighthouse all the way up here. This white thing. This is a lighthouse. And he just gave us a little bit of the details of the lighthouse and how it was used and when it was built and everything like that. So we have the opportunity to go up there. It's 133 steps. I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know. And now it's, we're going to see about tequila. <laughs> finish our tequila tour it was so good these are the ones that we tried all of the shots <laughs> we decided to take these last two this one's like made out of like chocolate and coffee chocolate and coffee and then this one is um, made out of almonds so the chocolate and coffee is for me, and the uh, almonds is for my brother as a gift. So this is the lighthouse. And I thought about it, and uh, no, we're not gonna take the, uh, all of the steps. It's okay, I can see it from out here, I'm fine. This is the little shops that they have here. Let's see if we can find something that we wanna take with us. So now we officially finished with the Punta Sur Eco Beach Park. Um, that's where we saw the lighthouse and where they had like the tequila shots tasting. That was actually really what cool. Was it was really fun and it tasted really, really good. Um, and now we're gonna go to another stop. So this tour has been actually really cool for somebody who's not really looking for something super adrenaline based, but um, it is very adventure based, you know, there's we're going to different stops all over the island. So it is an adventure It's actually really fun Caracol El Caracol tiene un poquito más de 1500 años de construcción en este Fue el primer faro de la isla Wow Si puedes ver Again, we had another stop in the park. I keep thinking we're leaving, but we're not we're So the first one that? was the kind of ruins that you said there like a lighthouse from the Mayans back in the day in which there's like seashells in there and now oh there's a lizard <laughs> whoa whoa yep so yeah it had seashells um, that would warn like the Mayans if like a storm was coming and not to go out and now we're on our way to go see I think he said crocodiles and flamingos
we still have to find out about that. It's literally right under the walkway, right here. That's how you know it's hot because the crocodiles are trying to get shade. But I saw the head earlier and then that was a little bit of the tail. Let me see if I can show you that. I'm on the set point. I'm on the I'm down. just made it to something called Pueblo del Maiz, which in, in English translates to um, City of Corn. And this is kind of a tour of the culture of the Mayas. The girl that you saw there earlier, um, she's actually Mayan. They're saying that there's like two million people left who actually speak and um, know everything about the culture of like the Mayan culture which is pretty awesome so I think we're gonna learn how to make chocolate here and learn more about the Mayan, Mayan culture if you can hear the drums already I think this is gonna be something really cool look at the baby dancing Just let us know we're gonna be mine for a day. And I just got painted on our yellow scuff paint. So did Ezra and we're off. Sweet, huh? With honey. It's a tamarind juice. How was it? You like it? Good? It's done. This is intense.
So we've been going to different palapas, learning about like different cultures. The first one was how to make corn flour. The second was what medicinal plants they used for medicine. And then this third one was all about how sacred chocolate is. died we was almost done with the Mayan tour I tried to see if I can get a few clips of um, of the ending where they did their like kind of like sacrificial dance and then at the end they had a little bit of like the um, like this Mayan soccer game thing with their elbows um, but it was really really nice it was really different I liked it because it wasn't super long and it got straight to the point we got to do some paint stuff in the beginning um, and then we got to see like four key elements um, of their culture in the hut. We got to see the sacrificial like dance and then we got to see their mind game and then we was off to go. So it was a full day event for this Jeep excursion. It was really cool. It was really nice. Um, we got here at the island around 10.30ish and it's probably around, I don't know. Yeah, so it's around 5.15 right now. I think we're getting on the 5.30 ferry. I'm sorry, you guys, I literally had an attack. I thought I, like, lost my phone. Oh, my God. You know, I almost left my phone at Isa Kondoi. Um, one of the like, visitors picked it up and was like, is this your phone? Oh, my God, I would have died. You guys, this is where my brain is. Anyway, so that's it. It was a really, really good time. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time with a whole new video. Bye, guys.